Everyone, welcome to Research MD. Dr. Pramil is here, and I work as a chief medical officer in the United States, also an associate professor of medicine, one of the large medical schools in the United States. Today, we're going to talk about um, the blueberry. How does it decrease our blood sugar? Okay, so blueberry, when you look at it, it's originated, I think, in Scandinavia. A lot of European countries have it. Um, so we're going to look deep into the scientific basis, like how does it decrease the blood sugar? In order to, before we go into that, we need to understand how does the blood glucose enter, uh, I mean, glucose enter into the blood, okay? So we have this nice diagram up here. You take the food, it's actually, it's converted to starch, which is polysaccharide. And that means you got a lot of glucose molecule in there. And another important enzyme called alpha amylase convert that into oligosaccharide, which is actually two glucose molecule. The, that is so actually called maltose, right? And that again, this alpha glucose days, convert that into monosaccharide, that is like single blood glucose. And then it is going to come to our blood. And that's why when you check the blood sugar, you know, the blood, uh, sugar in the blood, it can go up. Okay, so the important enzyme, uh, all of this thing uh, main is the alpha amylase. Okay, you have to inhibit that enzyme. That's what blueberry does. How does blueberry does? Blueberry got like a compound called anthocyanin, a very very important compound. They come in, they uh, inhibit or block alpha amylase. They block alpha glucosidase. Okay, so those two enzymes right here get blocked, so what's going to happen? Your blood sugar level goes down. Got it? Okay, so two enzymes, one, polysaccharide is converted into oligosaccharide by alpha amylase, and the oligosaccharide is converted into monosaccharide by alpha glucosidase, so blueberry inhibit both of those, and both of those enzymes, so less blood, I mean less glucose goes into your blood. Okay, now, it's also, um, when we talk about blueberry, it got again, we talk about anthocyanin, okay? It activates something called the AMPK, which is AMP activated protein kinase. So this is a protein that increases the glucose uptake in the fat and the muscle, especially the skeletal muscle, okay? So when it goes into the cell, less glucose stays in the blood. So our main purpose is to make sure you got the glucose, they want to enter into the cell. And what does it, uh, how does it enter? With the help of insulin, correct? Okay, and then also this AMPK, uh, which is AMP activator protein kinase, they downregulate gluconeogenesis. What is gluconeogenesis? Means glucose production. So they downregulate it, less glucose is produced, and then what's going to happen? You got to decrease blood glucose, okay? When we talk about it, also upregulates an enzyme load, I mean, a, a transporter, glucose transporter 4, which we talked about before, is very, very important. Um, glucose transporter 4, it needs to be on the plasma membrane, and it works with the insulin to get the glucose enter into the cell. Okay, so this part kind of makes sure, um, you know, the glucose come from the blood, enter into the cell, so your blood glucose level goes up, okay? So two main pathways, again, the compound we have to know about is anthocyanin. That's what um, blueberry has. It. They, ins uh, they inhibit two enzymes, alpha amylase and alpha glucosidase, and then decreased blood glucose in the blood, and this uh, anthocyanin activate AMPK in here. So what's going to have decreased glucose uptake in the skeletal muscles, downregulate gluconeogenesis, and then the last thing, upregulated glucose transporter 4, which you need for your insulin to act and push the glucose into the cell. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. God bless.